Today's London newspaper reports prominently the resignation of the Scotland region's First Minister Nicola Sturgeon. She was the champion of independence for Scotland, which had been with the UK government in London for the past three centuries or so. The point came to my mind immediately is, in India, in such a situation, what we will see the reaction in politics. In Erode East constituency, there are, I think, some 40-odd candidates for an MLC by election. There in England, now no one has come forward to claim that he or she will claim for the space vacated by the Scotland's first minister. The point I want to say is, in India, politics means the most low down of seeking profit and money and wealth and greed, all these low values are now combined to mark Indian politics. The people ask me often how I had done my life in politics. I am glad and also ashamed to say that I had not got any jobs or offers from the Congress party, though I am a, remain a congressman all my life. Today, politics has become so bad, I am ashamed to even reveal some of the great idealists I met when I contested for the MLC election. My first contact when I launched my campaign was you will all be surprised to know from me, Mr. Kannan, called Salem Kannan popularly. He was my first contact, my supporter, and a disciple even, I will say that. Of course, his life took a different turn, twists, and that's how politics is, perhaps. So, we have to be clear, and there are many whom I don't want to mention here, the names, who were all great idealists. They were all, of course, D DK men. Professor Chokapa in Salem was my another strong backer and many other known, well-known headmasters. Why I say that in my time, some 50 years ago, there were so many idealists, ordinary people were caring for values, truth, honesty, integrity. Today, these are the least preferred ideals and the politics has become so uncomfortable for the right thinking men. My plea with youngsters, the younger generation is, you see, politics will land you in trouble and bad situations. You may even spend days and months in jail for corruption, now foisted by even people who should be the safe guardians of values. So politics has to be understood from its history, history of politics, from the ancient Greek to today, the values preferred were liberty and democracy. These two words were uttered by Pericles in his 400 BC years when he fought the Polypenetian war. So, the history of politics is such that one has to be educated, qualified before he comes before the people. So, these are the some of the thoughts that came to my mind today when I looked at the newspaper where this Scotland Prime First Minister resigned and yet there were no claimants to contest her place.
थैंक यू